Hi, Bob. And hi, Bob's mom. This is the party from Nevada City, California. And we're going to take you through about 15 to 20 minutes of gentle yoga. Um, we understand that Bob, your mom, is, uh, is recovering and so we wanted to, to bring you some different exercises that um, Bob's mom, if you're listening in, that you could um, that you can do while you're on the couch or maybe in a chair. So as we're doing this, Scott, who is on your well, this is Scott, right? Oh, 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 that's Scott. <laughs> um, He's going to be doing the traditional or advanced pose. Tom, who's right next to Scott, see if I can get my finger over there, that's Tom. He is going to be the mo doing the modified version. And um, for the purposes of recovery, I would say do what your body feels like doing. Maybe starting with the seated poses or starting with the chair. And then if you want to challenge yourself to... Um, advance to what Scott is doing, then keep watching this video. All right, are you guys ready? Okay. Yes. So we're actually going to be starting in a comfortable seated position. So if you are on the ground, I'm going to invite you to either um, cross your legs and find maybe some height with a blanket or a block. And if you're in a chair, Find a position that allows the spine to be nice and straight. All right. And then placing the palms of the hands face down on the thighs. And look straight ahead. And gently feel into your body. So start to notice how the body is, where the body is. Maybe notice the breath as it moves through the body. Again, just noticing. At this point, we don't want to push or pull the breath or control the breath in any way. We're simply bringing the awareness into the body, into the breath. You can close the eyes if that feels comfortable to you. Keeping a very soft, Closing of the eyelids. Soften the face. The jaw. The shoulders. Soften those away from the ears. Continue to feel the spine lengthening. You may feel some weight in the hands as they sit on the thighs, but don't press them into the thighs. Simply allow gravity to do its thing. As you sit here, noticing the breath, simply allow your body to be. You may choose to notice how as your breath slows or becomes more consistent that the sides of the body begin to lengthen. You may notice that as you increase the amount of time between the inhales and the exhales that you notice the chest and the abdomen Fill up with air and release. Again, simply noticing this. All right, now coming back to the body. You can gently open the eyes. And we're going to begin with some simple shoulder movements to start to warm up the body. So I'm going to invite you on the inhale to bring the shoulders up towards the ears. 
And as you exhale, we're going to draw the shoulders down the back. So you can release them down and back to neutral. As you inhale, bring them forward and up towards the ears. And exhale, bring them back down the body to neutral. Inhale one more time, bringing them forward and up towards the ears. Exhale, bring them back to neutral. And then we'll reverse side. So on the inhale, bringing those shoulders back, lifting up to the ears, and then exhale, bringing them forward and down. Two more times. As you inhale, bringing them back, lifting that chest as the shoulders come up to the ears, and exhale, bringing them down and forward. And one more time, inhaling, lifting them up, and exhale, bringing them down to neutral. Now I'm going to invite you to bring the hands down to your side if you're on a chair, and down to the ground if you are seated on the ground. Turning the palms outward, we're going to inhale and bring the hands up towards the ceiling. So the fingertips are going to extend to the ceiling. Now, Tom, I'm going to ask you to do a modification. So if your shoulders are feeling tight or if you have any pain in your shoulders, bring the arms down so the elbows are at a 90 degree angle. Okay? And breathe, extending through the fingertips. Feel the breath in the belly. Inhale, extending those fingertips. And as you exhale, we're going to press through the air. So now we're going to turn the, the, um, turn the, the wrists around. So you're going to turn the palms of the hands outward. And we're going to press through the air, bringing them down to the sides of the body. And we'll repeat this. So inhale, turning the palms of the hands up towards the ceiling, extending the fingertips up towards the ceiling. As you do this, draw the shoulder blades down away from the ears. And exhale, we're going to press through the air, the palms of the hands now facing towards the floor. Great. Inhaling with the breath, bringing those fingertips up. Exhale, pressing through the air, the palms release down. And one more time, inhaling, lifting up. And exhale, release down. Now you can bring the palms of the hands either to the thighs or just in front of the knees. And Scott, actually, we're going to do... Um, tabletop so the uh, more moder or the more advanced version of this is tabletop bringing the knees below the hips and the wrists are in line with the shoulders on the inhaling breath I'm going to invite you to lift through the sternum through the upper chest bringing that forward you can look up also and exhale we're going to round through the spine so Scott is tucking the tailbone. Tom is bringing the gaze down towards the knees. Inhaling, lifting up through the top of the chest. The chin extends also. Exhaling, rounding through the spine. You can also round through the shoulders as well. Inhale, lifts up. Feeling the spine lengthen. Exhale, tucking the navel in towards the spine bringing the spine into a rounded posture. Inhale again, lifting up. And exhale, rounding out. And we'll do this two more times. Inhaling, lifting, using your own breath. So if this is too fast or too slow, move with your own breath. And exhale, releasing forward. On the inhaling breath, we'll come back to neutral. And I want you to just sit here, again, lengthening through the spine, and just noticing what's happening in the body. 
Maybe you're noticing a little bit more length in the spine. Maybe the shoulders are talking a little bit. Maybe there's some more warmth in the sides of the body. From here, I'm going to invite Scott to tuck the toes and come up to a standing position. So lifting up and finding yourself in a standing position. Tom, I'm going to invite you to come forward on the chair enough so that you still have balance and then we're going to bring your feet out as well. So the feet are going to be in line, the ankles are going to be in line with the knees. Great. And this will give you a little bit more um, length in the spine. It'll give you a little bit more stability. You'll notice that the, uh, the belly might start to engage. You might notice that the spine will be more erect. All right. From here, I'm going to invite everyone to lift all 10 toes. As you lift your toes, and Tom, we'll just leave the ball mounts on the ground. So you're lifting the toes, and if you're wearing shoes, just lift them inside of your shoes, feeling the activation on the bottoms of the feet. Okay, so feel how the ball mounts of the toes, so the front of the foot and the heel, feel as they engage into the ground. From here, I'm going to invite you to feel that lifting through the ankles, through the knees, through the hips, carrying it all the way up through the spine to the crown of the head. Inhale and exhale. From here, we're going to come to a forward fold. So Scott, I'm going to invite you to Inhale, lift the arms up overhead. And Tom, please keep the arms where they are, but lift through the crown of the head just the same. As you exhale, move forward. So Scott is hinging at the hips, bringing himself into the traditional pose. Tom, moving forward and feel a sense of opening through the chest even as you're dropping the belly, the torso, down to the thighs. Continue to breathe. So from here, if you are on a chair, you may choose to, if you have the flexibility in the hip flexors, to go all the way down to the thighs. And if that's the case, to continue to feel the lift in the front of the chest. So don't collapse the front of the chest just to get the torso to the thighs. Rather have a sense of long of longevity or of length. Have a sense of length through the spine, through the crown of the head. Scott, I'm going to invite you to lengthen through the back of the neck. So if you can even lengthen through the back of the neck a little bit more. So drop the chin. Drop the chin a little bit more. Crown of the head is heavy. And continue to breathe. Feel the activity in the bottoms of the feet. And we'll stay here for five more breaths. If you have contact, between the torso and the thighs, feel as you inhale the torso expanding into the thighs. If the torso is not touching the thighs, then simply breathe in and expand through all sides of the body. On the next inhale, bring yourself up to a standing position or a seated position, upright seated position. And relax. 
For this next pose, we're going to, I'm going to ask Tom to stand up and bring the chair forward. We're going to prepare for downward facing dog. So in the standing position, in the traditional position, you can take that forward fold. So Scott, if you'd like to inhale, raise the arms, exhale, forward fold. And then walk the fingers forward, releasing the hips back. The crown of the head stays heavy. And the heels are lengthening towards the ground. That's traditional downward facing dog. For the modification, Tom, please put your arms on the back of the chair. From here, I'm going to invite you to walk the feet back, keeping the heels hip distance apart. And then bring the hips back. So we want the hips to be on top of or uh, lined up with the heels. So you're bringing the hips back and the hips are really what are going, the legs are still taking the weight from this pose. You're not wading into the wrists or the fingers, rather pulling back, lengthening the entire body through the hips. Continue to roll the shoulders away from the ears and feel the lifting action through the legs. Inhale. As you exhale and release, bring the belly in towards the spine, the hips release back towards the wall. Inhale. And exhale. Now this pose, you may want to stay in for a few breaths. It's a really great pose to lengthen the backs of the legs. It's also a great pose to start to feel length in the spine. So if you've been sitting at a chair or at a desk all day, it's a great pose to start to wake up the hip flexors, the bottom of the, the, bottom of the spine, the sides of the body. And then both of you bending into the knees and invite both of you to walk the feet forward. Tom, you can come up to a standing position. And Scott, inhale, come up to a standing position. Great. Now Tom, you can move that chair back to where it was before, so that back towards that. And then again, find a seated position. So finding yourself on the seat Again, we're going to come to the front of the seat. So you always want to come to the front of the seat. And again, I mean, just, just notice what happens to um, your body when you come to the back of the seat versus the front. And just play with that a little bit, finding out what is best for your body, noticing how the activity level of the body, how things engage differently when you move from the back to the front. From here, we're going to come into a simple twist. So I'm going to invite both of you to inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head, lengthen that spine nice and long. And as you exhale, we'll bring the right hand over to the left thigh. And as you do this, the left hand can come behind you. With Tom, he's going to bring the hand either to the bottom of, or the seat of the chair or if you can, bring it to the, the back side of the chair. So we're twisting into this, bringing the arm, the elbow around too. So instead of twisting your arm back like this, we're going to, to bring your left hand around. With this arm, inhale, lengthen through the spine, and exhale, bend into the elbow, and twist. So we're twisting through there you go. And then you can bring the arm either to the back of the chair or else you can bring it to the seat of the chair. And I'll demonstrate further on the other side. You'll be able to see it more clearly. So as you inhale, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, put more weight into the right hip. So the right hip and the left hip are continuing to ground equally into the chair or into the ground. I'm 
going to invite you to look over your right shoulder. Taking a few breaths here, noticing where the action is, where you're feeling the stretch. You may even want to dip your right ear towards the shoulder. Bringing the head up to neutral. And then you can once again look over to the left. Inhale, bringing yourself back to center and you can unwind. So bring yourself back to neutral. Stay here for a few breaths, feeling what's happening in the body. Inhale and exhale. Once again, we're going to inhale, lengthen through the spine, feel the lifting in the front of the chest, and exhale. Now this time, the left hand comes over to the right thigh. And then you're going to bring the right hand, if you're on a chair, it's going to either bend, bending at the elbow, and you can either bring the hand to the seat of the chair, or if you have the mobility, if you have the mobility in the twist to bring the shoulder around, you can bring it to the back of the chair. So actually just keep the elbow. Yeah, there you go. On that. Beautiful. Keep lifting up through the chest. And then let's look over our left shoulder. Again, if you'd like to, dropping the left ear. Again, both sits bones are equally grounded. So if you feel like one of the sits bones, you're starting to lean further into one versus the other, see if you can bring the other one down. And then bringing the head up to neutral and again looking over the right shoulder. And then inhaling, bringing yourself back to center, releasing the twist, and exhale. So from here, we're going to go into a guided relaxation, um, which oftentimes is, is a shavasana or the final pose of a yoga class. Scott is going to come down to the mat completely. Whereas Tom is going to sit up nice and tall, but have the entire body relaxed. So if you're on the couch, if you're on a chair and unable to get to the ground, simply find a relaxed seated position. I'm going to invite you to bring the chin down just slightly. There we go. Keeping the back of the neck nice and long. And gently close the eyes if that's comfortable to you. And once again, bring the awareness to the body. To the breath. Noticing how the breath is moving through the body. Noticing as gravity pulls the body to the ground. As you take in the breath, notice where your breath wants to go within the body and be okay with that. So maybe your breath is taking you to your feet. Be okay with that. As you exhale, gently release the breath through the nose.
Now we'll bring the awareness to the crown of the head, to the very tip of the head. And I'm going to ask you to envision a blue light or maybe a point of heat at the very crown of the head. As you inhale, feel this blue light become small and very precise. And as you exhale, completely release it to the periphery. So feeling it explode into the outer portions of the brain, of the body, of the room. Bringing the awareness now to the forehead, the middle of the forehead. As you inhale, feel that blue light or that point of heat become very small, very strong. And as you exhale, completely release it to the outside. Bring the awareness to the tip of the nose. As you inhale, the blue light, the point of heat, becomes very small. And as you exhale, completely release it. Bring the awareness to the chin. As you inhale, that blue light, that point of heat becomes very, very constricted. And exhale, completely release. Now bringing the awareness to the middle of the throat. As you inhale, feel that blue light, that point of heat becoming very small. And exhale, completely release it. Inhaling, bringing the awareness to the heart center. And exhaling, completely release. Bring the awareness now to the navel, the belly button. As you inhale, continue to bring that blue light small, constricted, powerful. And as you exhale, feel it explode into the periphery. Inhaling, bringing the awareness to the tailbone, so to the very base of the spine. So you inhale, feel that blue light, that point of heat become very constricted. And exhale, completely release. And then simply allow the body to become soft. your mind starts to wander, bring it back to the breath. Feeling the breath as it moves through the body. Feel gravity as it keeps us grounded into the chair or the mat.
On our next inhale, I invite you to bring the breath back into the body by making small movements with the fingers and the toes. Bringing these movements into the arms and the legs. So if you're seated, you can start to shake up the arms or the legs. And then maybe moving into the shoulders and the hips. you're laying on the ground. When you feel ready, roll to the right side of the body. And actually, I'm gonna have you roll to the left so you're facing us. Actually. Take three cleansing breaths here, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. If you're lying on the ground, when you feel ready, bring yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Now bring to mind the feeling of gratitude that brought you to this practice today. Have a sense of overwhelming joy given to your body for being here, for allowing you to do yoga. Thank you.